rising everyone welcome to the city of healing where the city resides within this is angela and as the title states blocking negative energies slash narcissistic tendencies now narcissism we've heard of that word a lot and um, the guy that fell in love with himself and was so in love with himself that you know he died you know not paying attention to anything else but looking at himself in the mirror but that's uh, just a general term or a primary example of what narcissism is and of course narcissism goes much much deeper than that and um, all of us have narcissistic tendencies but there are some you know without judgment or or um, making light of the situation uh, could be sociopathic and psychopathic and extreme narcissistic and um, I have come into contact with some because I am an empath of course and um, I tend to let things happen, you know, even though I know what's happening. Um, I tend to observe and learn about certain types of personality disorders and uh, my relationship and why I tend to let those type of things and people happen to me. And um, as I said, there are different spectrums of uh, narcissism. And uh, this recent situation, um, if you don't know what narcissism is, uh, this will give a great example as to what it is and how to protect your energy. And basically, narcissism is a, basically, if you feel that you are being controlled, you know, and as I said, sometimes we let things happen unknowingly and knowingly without, uh, any any idea of what's going on until you are made aware of what's going on but narcissism is a state of wanting to have control unhealthy control you know of someone else's life and basically it um, is a state in which they are in a, a state of misery and misery uh, of course as we say loves company and um, For example, someone that's a troll on Facebook or YouTube, uh, they basically feed off of other people's negative response because they themselves are miserable. And um, it's, it's kind of sad. And um, I'm not this person's enemy, but it's kind of sad when you, you know that someone is miserable and all they do is want to uh, respond negatively to someone else's um, energy, to someone else's contribution to YouTube or Facebook or something like that. And um, you wonder why they even take the time to just respond negatively, you know, even though it is for public view. If, if, if it's not your cup of tea, why even... Um, waste your time you know so misery loves company and if you don't have anything negatively or constructive or anything positive to add to someone else you think is miserable uh, someone else's um, uh, uh, bad information or negativism negative vibes then why even respond in the first place and with narcissism, when they uh, respond negatively, you have to what they call gray walk them and just basically um, respond without any spice, be bland, be to the point, and just don't let them feed off of your, uh, your anger, your negative response to them because uh, misery loves company. And... There's a phrase, me being a 
nice, sometimes too nice. Um, I have to kind of remember that, you know, it's better to piss someone off than to be pissed on. And this particular person um, was constantly, constantly responding. You know, it's one reason why my other YouTube channel is no more. Because they were constantly responding negatively. And I didn't want to respond negatively back. In some situations, I did, but not to the extreme. I even went as far as actually talking to the person and consider getting to know this person. But I tell you, this person couldn't talk to them for more than a week without them getting um, unusually upset and angry about little things, such as, uh, I'll give some examples of me talking to co-workers about buttocks exercises. That's something that I do. It wasn't anything sexual intended, you know, uh, but this person did not like it, responded negatively and anger uh, about the situation. And then, you know, those types of examples, you know, I couldn't talk to this person for more than a week without things like that happening. You know, these angry outbursts all the time. And uh, the person wanted me to curse. You know, I don't curse usually. You know, if I wanted to, I would. But it's not something that I care to uh, do. And I really don't care if anyone else does either. You know, it doesn't really bother me. But it's not necessarily something that I like to do. And this person wanted to wanted me to curse you know and they like to use the BITC word TCH word a lot and thought it was a, a positive thing to add to that type of relationship we were thinking about forming um, but I did not um, appreciate it you know but um, and this person liked to talk um, sexually, I didn't like that because one, I never met the person before and I didn't feel that I had to. And um, at first I let that person, you know, talk like that. But, you know, eventually I didn't think it was appropriate. You know, it wasn't appealing to me. But anyway, it was a lot that went on that I decided that this person had a lot of narcissistic tendencies and unfortunately, maybe some sociopathic um, issues. So I blocked the person. And it was so much negative energy within that situation. And when I did uh, block that person, um, unfortunately, I had to, to cut off with this person, you know, a couple of times due to these type of things. But the last time, I was like, was basically the last time because um, we were talking and he had made a big argument about um, my response to some sexual um, connotations or conversations, which I kind of rejected. And he got really angry and going on and on and on. And I'm trying to explain myself. But um, <laughs> I eventually got a headache because it was so intense. And I was like, why is this energy so tense for nothing basically and so I said my headache was so bad and I told him I had a headache and he's like you know stop causing headaches and you won't have any you know that was his response on the phone I was like oh my goodness so that was a, a big sign for me just one of many to just just cut her off but that did it at that point so <laughs> This person, I restarted my YouTube channel, and of course, they came back, and it was, uh, I guess, positive at first. And everything anyone responds doesn't have to be positive, or you don't have to agree with everything I say. But when you feel this negative energy, you have to pay attention to it. If someone is making you feel uncomfortable, or you're not happy, or something just doesn't feel right, then it's not right. We really have to pay attention to our intuition and our gut feelings um, because they are real and um, uh, 
I'm not going to call out this person's name, but you've probably seen, if you looked at any of my videos, the response of this person. And um, you make a decision yourself, but I basically made my own. You know, it's not healthy. And I don't care how healthy someone says that they eat, that they eat uh, what they uh, need to consume is something much, much greater than um, food. You know, healthy food. That's not the only thing that makes you healthy, you know. So, but um, I let them respond for a while, hoping that <laughs> my uh, conclusion or my thoughts on this person wasn't real, which I knew it was. But basically, mildly, mildly uh, gray rocking them a little bit and uh, not responding negativity to some of their negative responses. And um, just like, you know, when I was talking to this person for probably less than a month or maybe a month, they um, got worse and worse. But with this last response, I finally decided again, this is it. You know, you just can't let people um, steal your energy, you know, your positive energy that you, that you have because misery loves company. And any time that anyone can take the time to spread negativity on your person, on your um, channel, on your Facebook page, in your life, you have the right to block that negative energy. You know, those are narcissistic tendencies. And those of us who are empaths that think that we can... Uh, help people but you just tend to uh, be a good source you know for uh, narcissistic tendencies you know but uh, people uh, so we really have to protect ourselves all of us from these type of people um, unfortunately you just have to pay attention to the way you feel um, and um, help yourself out and don't let anyone um, rain on your parade because it's your parade you get to decide who's going to be in it and who's not going to be in it um and you know allow people to um help you grow and develop and um you know add some positive energy into your life and everybody that says they're healthy um you have to really watch and how um observe how they really make you feel because just eating healthy foods isn't that you know i even offered to do a collaboration you know with this person several times you know if they're for me to help me and uh, it hasn't happened so you know they regular uh rather um give negative feedback you know than be productive in someone else's life anyway i just wanted to come forth and share that uh, a little bit of my story and um, a little advice on protecting your energy from energy vampires and narcissistic tendencies. Stay beautiful. Stay well. Take care.